Up until now, the program has flowed sequentially. Each line of code is executed, followed by the next line. Now we're going to introduce flow control using an if-else statement. With an if-else statement, the program reaches a decision point. If this is true, execute this line. Or else, execute these other lines. It's if-else, one or the other. So the first line, we've got the scanner. We've got to import the scanner because we're going to be taking input from the keyboard. Public class grade, that's the new class we're creating. The public static void main string args, that's boilerplate. You need that once within your program. First, we declare our variables. We've got two variables here, test score and grade. The first one is int test score. So we're declaring it as an integer, and the name of the variable is test score. String grade is our next variable. So the type of the variable is string. It's of type string. And the name of it is grade. It's an arbitrary name, but it's best to name your variables Something that makes sense. Okay, the next line in the program is print, print this line in the quotes, enter your score. And after that, the scanner is going to pick up whatever is input, whatever's on system in. It's going to capture that from the keyboard. And then the following line captures that next int. It's the next integer typed at the keyboard goes into test score. So it looks like test score equals keyboard.nextInt, but it's not an equal sign. That is sometimes referred to as a goes into. So what gets typed at the keyboard goes into test score. It's that uh, that integer is going to be held in the variable called test score that we declared up above. Now the if statement. So if test score is greater than 69, grade will hold pass. So pass goes into grade. So it looks like grade equals pass. So think of that as pass, the string pass will go into grade. Else, fail goes into grade. So the sense of the if statement is if the test score is greater than 69, pass goes into grade. Else, fail goes into grade. The next line, system print out the text in quotes, score equals space plus test score. And then it prints out the line, grade equals space plus grade. Okay, that's it for the if-else. Next, we're going to look at loops. While loops, do-while loops, and for loops.